Here comes the founder of Dead Man Inc. The following contest is a handicap match. Making his way to the ring from Death Valley. Weighing in at 305 pounds. The Undertaker! A metamorphosis of destruction is on display. He may not dress like Satan himself anymore, but he's still down with the devil and ready to get medieval tonight. The judge, the jury, the executioner set to hold court in the ring. titles and won the WWE World Cup to become best in the world. I think Shane's already scouting something he can leap from in this match. Well, he's back and better than ever. The driving force behind Nitro beating Raw during the infamous Monday Night Wars. One of the most brilliant minds this industry has ever known. And representing the NWO from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 195 pounds, Eric under his guidance, WCW and Nitro defeated Raw in the ratings for 83 weeks. He handles business in the boardroom, but is never afraid to compete in the ring. It's a battle of odds for this handicap match. We begin this match with The Undertaker, but they have hurdles in this handicap match as they clash with Shane McMahon and Eric Bischoff. And I'm still questioning why someone would agree to this match. Maybe there's something you have to prove here. Maybe you want to test your toughness. Yeah, but it doesn't really matter how tough you think you are. In this situation, all it takes is one blindsided attack to have you leave it here in a stretcher. Handicap match can bring a host of challenges to the combatants. Corey, what is the thought process when competing in a match like this? Well, the numbers are in your favor. It's important to have whoever is on the apron cause distractions. Remind the person who's outnumbered just how high the hill is that they have to climb. All right, fight Shane back. Nice snapmare. Ooh, a chop. Piercing. Big boot. Spin kick to the midsection. 
Oh, look at the knees. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. Just never had a chance to block any of those. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. Sure, he's pumping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. And I don't think Eric enjoyed taking that attack head on. Launch out to the outside. Soaring out of the ring, looking to do as much damage as possible. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time, but he's got to strike soon. He gets back into the ring. Launch out to the outside. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spinning in the face of danger. Unrelenting attacks from The Undertaker. Shane has to find an opening and respond. Good leg sweep. Nicely done. He went right into that turnbuckle. In the corner, and an elbow for good measure. Able to elude it. Big clothesline. And Shane takes a heavy pounding. Yeah, as The Undertaker once again impresses with his particular brand of athleticism. No clue what he hopes to find down there. And returning to the rank, Bischoff put a stop to that. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Jawbreaker! Call the dentist. Sure, he's popping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. Close line! Off with their head. Launch out to the outside! That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what... Vaulting plancha, incredible. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Shane O'Mac looking helpless to every attack. And nothing can stop the dead man. Setting foot in the ring now. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. He was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. He was only thinking about dominance. Watch out! Whoa! What a landing! It doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring, there is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. Oh, what a close line. He's starting to struggle here. This is a true test of stamina. You have to stay strong to come out on top in a handicap match. Uh-oh. And he goes for the... No, he lets him out. And it's something that surely won't come back to haunt him. Bischoff is openly taunting the competition. This match is spilled out to the ringside area. And as we can see, tension's really running high now. Uh, yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. He'll head to the ring. Ooh. Oh, my God! Undertaker, Tank slam! Show of confidence from Eric. Left by the turnbuckles. Step up, Enzigari. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Side headlock applied. Oh, and a right hand for good measure. Shane is revving this crap up. Boom! Right. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. Funny leg drop. He has just completely lost his wind. Yeah, he's got to dig deep and find another win if he wants to stay in this. Boom! Outside the ring now. He has no need to rush to the outside. This could get wild. 
Boom! Targeting the back of the neck. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Shifts it back onto him. Oh, this is gonna hurt. And you guys, I see blood on the face of Shane. And he tosses it back in now. Launch out to the outside. Risking it all and able to connect like a holy missile. Toss back into the ring. Surely won't come back to haunt him. Bischoff is oh. Wait, we're about to see the dead man discount. Two for one. Oh, Slam from Taker. The Undertaker just ended this. This is the beginning of the end. Here we go. Last ride. Bischoff's in serious danger. Is it enough? Escaping that pin must have cost him. I can't. These are the moments where you really find out how tough you are. Not many opponents can take that kind of a shot from Undertaker and keep kicking. You have to think Taker has just gained a bit more respect for his adversary. Eric Bischoff just goading his opponent. Like a heat-seeking missile hit the target right on the mark. Showcasing his merciless ways. Shane has to find an opening and respond. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Oh, backhands. Flattened. McMahon is firing up, no doubt about it. Hooked up. He's got the Undertaker dead to rights, and it looks like a gunslinger out of ammo. And Bischoff is looking to the crowd for some support. He's got him in the crosshairs. Oh, look out. All the way to the outside. And that was a collision you don't want to be on the receiving end of. Came down like a wrecking ball on a cinder block. <laughs> I love it. Bischoff is feeding off the energy, whether it's good or bad. Had that one scouted. He leaves the ring, and there's no countouts in this one. Oh, man. McMahon is firing up, no doubt about it. Oh, and a big uppercut. Any more hits in that area could leave him busy. He is truly feeling it right now, as well he should. Back into the ring. Clubbing foot. Oh, with a Come on. Close things up. Oh, he gets the shot looking for three. The trademark resolve of the Undertaker on display. He will not stay down. That was plan A, and it didn't work. He must be thinking about plan B at this point. What's the Undertaker got in mind here at oh. Byron? How about we take things a little old school? Yeah, I like it. Old school. Lights out, DDT connect. And there's the cover. A defiant kick out after one. The fact that these superstars can... Nice takedown, could be looking for the triangle. Got to pass the arm. I can't believe it. The Undertaker, the dead man, from submitting. You and me both, Corey. The under... Needs to break this submission, and the left hands will do it. The defensive elbow to the gut ends that. And Bischoff is looking to the crowd for some support. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. A uh, shoulder right to the knee.
kick right on the ear. Boom! Boom! Nice. You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. Shane just trying to get under the skin of his opponent. Oh! He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more. Vaulting plancha, incredible. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. He's got a hold of both of his opponents. Look at this. Chuck slam from Taker. Taker's about to end another fight. <laughs> what power! Stone. Taker just turned his lights out. Cover! Two count! Man, that was such a long and hard-fought match. He earned that victory. Here is your winner, the And if you're getting a victory like that, you got to be feeling pretty good about yourself. They are riding high on this win. This celebration might carry on the rest of the month.